We're here at Camry Park for a long-awaited update. It's been a while, but we're joining Nathan Neighbors, who heads the Sport Recreation Department here at Camry Park. How are you today? Doing good, doing good. It's uh, that time of year. Yes, it is. And although right now Camry's quiet because it's a morning time, right. that's not the case most evenings. Right. We're, uh, we're waiting big things tonight. Um, like I said, most evenings we have um, softball out here five nights a week during the weekday, two days during the weekend. So that's seven days a week. Or seven days a week. So uh, Monday through Friday we have our youth softball leagues, our adult softball leagues, and adults can be church, co-ed, industrial, senior league. And our girls softball program is just, you know, like grown through the roof to where we've actually reached capacity out here at the field. So, but there, uh, there's something every night if somebody wants to come out and, you know, see, you know, the best the city has to offer in softball. And it's, uh, there's no, no gate, it's free to the public. There's a concession stand, so you don't even have to bring, bring your lunch or bring your dinner to come watch good softball. And it starts about six o'clock uh, every night. How fun is that? And parking is pretty reasonable around here now, parking isn't is it? Parking is reasonable. Um, last year we had a, we added a, um, a, a parking spot that, or a space that a, a offers 60 spaces. So it was just the perfect amount. So it allows us to have multi-functions as far as soccer going at the same time, softball tournaments going at the same time. And during league, you have mom and dad meeting at the ballpark and bringing, you know, bringing the sister or the brother to play. So you have two cars for family. You know, so it really did put stress on us as our numbers started to grow. So, so when you have all of all this activity going on on the fields, you have things for families to do in the peripheral. Oh yeah, right? oh yeah. Like I said, there's a uh, you know there's a handicap accessible playground. Uh, there's a tot lot, which is where we're currently standing uh, for kids two and under, th three and under, and then you have the twelve and under um, playground over there. Uh, there's you know there's plenty there. There's shade kites. There's picnic tables. There's pavilions and restrooms and you know tennis courts, what have you. Well, lots of possibilities oh. here. And so when you you're full to capacity, mm -hmm. what kind of staff is handling all the activities? <laughs> right that go now, on and that's here? one of the things we you know since I guess conception of the department, one of our things was to do was to be small, play big. So we, we want to you know give the image that hey, there's a lot of people behind this. And the best thing to do, there's probably around any, any given time 1,500 participants that we roll through that we actively communicate with. And right now we have one full-time you know, program staff, which is, which is myself, and then we have a, a part-time, and then we have a facility manager out here at Kimry that kind of helps us with pregame setup because when you're running kids in the, you know, at, at, from 6 to 7 and adults from 8 to 10, you have to be able to make, you know, the, the field's very malleable and, you know, change to what the needs are. So right now that, that with being me, so I'm the one that kind of has to schedule all that and go through it. So we utilize, uh, you know, being able to, we utilize a Google platform that we've just, you know, launched. And um, what that does is that allows us to connect to every one of them with live documents. Um, it allows us to be very, you know, transparent in everything we have in our department as far as it's a us, you know, it's every, it, so basically you turn it into having 1,500 employees because everybody's working together. Um, it allows you to work out conflicts on scheduling with everybody on live documents and you can annotate on it like literally you know they see you draw you can draw a circle on it you know and they can see right there what you're talking about three-way conversations pertaining to those documents um you know new, you know you can send out newsletters just that you know from last night's games just to you know your selected audience um there's no you know they don't all they have to have is an email but you know that's one of the things that when they come sign up for our sports and stuff that they bring us an email address and we go ahead and you know get them plugged into all and that's basically just a great feature and a great tool and it and it's extremely cost effective and it, it saves us on staff it actually saves us from having to have a person that takes reservations so now you can be sitting on your couch 10 o'clock at night um open up the document look see what's available at Kimry. say you wanted a birthday party on saturday april or excuse me may 25th open up the document see what's available click on it send it send it send the email it's going to pencil it in if it's available because you'll see it and then i'll get it it'll be green i click on my smartphone you're in that's incredible Easy as that. Easy and as that certainly fits today's lifestyle that's for right. so many people who are in that's sports right. i mean they've got many of them have jobs and busy lives during that's the day right. and that's so right. they need to be able to have that that mobile access yep. right. to to your schedule which i assume changes all the time right and so what we kind of want to look at is, is instead of having that schedule we want to have 24 7 access to everything we have and that's that's the key in growing as well as being sustainable because if you're you know you're able to 
do everything, you know, 24-7, then you're going you're gonna to do it. Because like I said, 8 o'clock at night when everybody gets settled in the house, then you think about playtime. You're like, what do I got to do for, you know, we got to schedule this, we got to schedule that, when do we play next? Everything we have as far as what drives our sports is accessible to its participants, not just the coaches, but the players, the moms, the parents, the dads, the grandparents, anybody that wants to be can access the drive, look at it, you know, and interact with it. And that's that's been the key of, you know, the days of having, you know, someone sitting at a desk taking phone calls all day because, you know, with 1,500 people at, at one time, that's a lot of phone calls because people want information. So all that information is out there and then we're able to supplement them with whatever they want, you know, as far as, you know, any updates on weather statuses. We share, we can share radar with them as far as what we're looking at for predicting, you know, what inclement weather, um, any kind of scheduling conflicts. Like the other day, a school had a, uh, had a, 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 basically a program when we had games scheduled. And I got the other principal on the, I got both principals on the phone and we sat there and one was on the phone, one was online looking at the document and we were literally working together on one sheet as if we were sitting at a table. But we never left the office, resolved five minutes and nobody had it done to them. We all did it together. So Can't beat everybody that. walked Collaboration. away. Every, yeah, everybody walked away happy. So that's great. This is great. I mean, this is kind of the future of where, you know, the platform we want to launch our department on as far as being accessible to all. Sounds like a model that a lot of us could look into and, yeah, and, and yeah. adopt. What is on the horizon for Camry? Do you have future projects planned? We do. Um, right now, we're, we're about to launch a fence re outfield fence reconstruction because, you know, the fences, I think, are 20 plus years old. So they're starting to get, you know, become old. So one of the things we'll do, we'll replace it. But when we're replacing it, we want to bring in a revenue stream with that. So we'll launch our advertising, you know, on the new fences, our advertising program. So that'll be added revenue plus with 77 plus thousand people that roll through this park annually and that you know that's a, that's a very conservative number with the tournaments we've had this year it's going to be way above that that's really good advertising high so, visibility that's right and you know and of course sports advertising is you know short and sweet get to the point but be creative so it allows people to get outside the box of just saying here's our standard template do something great you know so have you been pleased with the 2016 per, uh, turnout and participation so far we haven't uh, we we actually were kind of on the mind. We expected it to grow, and so we anticipated the growth, and that that's kind of why we had the you know the the, the platform that we were going to launch in the in the back on the, kind of on the back burner, but ready, anticipating, because we didn't want to outgrow what we were capable of keeping you know great service to. So that was the sole purpose of it. So we had uh, 38 teams in the girls softball league. So that's I mean we have over 400 kids girls playing softball. In our city, which is just you know, I, I don't know what other cities have, but that's that's up there. I mean, that's way up there. That's incredible. So, very proud of them. Um, we've got a good collected program going with that. Our adults are continuing to grow. We're reaching capacity, you know, in all of our fields as far as what we're able to, you know, you know, facilitate. Mm -hmm. That sounds fantastic. So, 2016 is not even half over, right. and you keep growing. That's right. That's Fantastic. Right. Is there anything else that you'd like to, to wrap up with while we're out here at Kimry? Um, if you haven't been out here, obviously you need to check yeah. out the activity. But. Right. Um, and, you know, one of the focuses, you know, Monday through Friday, we really try to focus on our locals as far as the leagues we offer, mm -hmm. the programs we offer, whether it be tennis, soccer, um, softball, you know, t ball. And then Monday, and then Friday, or excuse me, Saturday and Sunday is our tournament. So that's when we that's when we focus on our sports tourism. That's one thing that we've really wanted to look at as far as upping, pulling people in, partnering with restaurants, partnering with um, local businesses as far as you know advertising opportunities, uh, getting these you know this that demographic that comes in for the weekends out and about in their stores because the way we schedule it, we we schedule it to where they're here, and they're not leaving. You know they're going to stay here because they have to be right back to play. So we go in a three hour gap. So we have, we get a lot of good feedback from local retail as far as, hey, you know, let us know next time you're gonna have something that big, you know, so we'll have, you know, whether it be a restaurant or not. So, uh, but that's kind of our main focus. So if you come out here on a Saturday or Sunday and it's just absolutely packed to the, well, that's that's generally what's going on as far as a lot of these people are from out of, you know, out of town, out of state, you know, in some instances. So, um, so that's kind of our, you know, the direction and this is something to know, so I mean, well, thank you so much for updating oh, yeah. us on what's going yeah. on with Kimry Park. There's a lot, a lot more than just meets the eye. Right. As you say, something it's, it benefits the community, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's also great for sports tourism, mm -hmm. and that part is, is certainly exciting right. and growing all the time. Oh, yeah. 
something that benefits many aspects of our community right. besides just the folks right. here that play ball. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for all that oh, you're yeah. doing. We oh, appreciate yeah. you. Let's do another update come summertime. Sounds good. And next week we'll bring you more city news.